Hi friends, welcome to Nessa's Nook. So today I am just going to do a very small batch of uh, canning some pinto beans in some pints, okay? Now, <clears throat> I am almost, well, I am out of the pints. I do have them as freeze-dried. I do have them as dehydrated as far as powders. Um, and I do have some frozen ones that's individually, it's already pre-cooked. I have those in my freezer. But it's always nice just to have them like this. Now, um, I think I do have some that when I do like a batch of beans, I have like a quart. I cannot seem to find those anywhere. And I know I have at least four or five, six quarts of them. So um, what I'm going to do down here, and I know I do my stuff a little bit backwards when it comes to the beans, but it works for me. So, you know, it's, you know, that's what it is, is um, I don't like to pre-rinse my beans. I do that over in the sink when I'm adding water. And then that way, you know what I'm saying? I, I could do everything all at once at the sink and then I throw everything in the, um, uh, pressure cooker. So I am going to be doing this in my Instapot Max. <clears throat> it will actually hold four pints and, um, it will hold, I believe five half pints of things. Now I am in the process of trying to buy a, uh, Presto, uh, 12 quart uh, can or electric canner. Um, I've been trying to get one of those for like three years. Supposedly my store has one on sale this week, but they're not in stock yet. So I wanted to try to still try to do some beans because I could do, I believe, um, uh, seven pints in that, or nine pints, I think, and seven quarts in that 12 um in a 12 quart but meanwhile i'm just using my instapot max which is pretty much a glorified six quart instapot so you know you can't fit all those jars in there and it's not tall enough to fit the quarts so i'm gonna go ahead and bring it down here and i'd be doing some pinto beans and with the pinto beans you're going to be doing a half a cup of pinto beans per pint so what i'm doing is i'm just going to go ahead and throw these in here this way I know I'm not using, you know, getting too many rinsed off or anything like that. That's why I like to do it this way. And what I'm going to do is go over to the sink, get these all rinsed off, and I will be back to show you the rest of the process here. All right. Um, even though <clears throat> I did not, um, it's not anything on the outside. I still am going to sit there and, okay, I don't know for sure what's up with my phone, but I just debubbled these. I don't know for sure if that shows on that last part or not. And even though it's nothing on the rims, you're still going to want to clean the rims to feel for any chips or any cracks or anything to that effect. And that's what I'm doing here. All right. And then um, in my link down below is the four jars. Um, I have a 10% coupon if anybody is looking for any. I have a 100% seal rate on those four jars, just to let you know. Um, when you tighten these, tighten these just fingertip tight, not something that's you're wrenching it because you will um, buckle your lid. I am still using my wide mouth ones I had gotten a couple years ago from the... Um, uh, store um, and that's what I'm going to use until those are all up and I'm going to move you over to the stove and I'll get this finished here so for those who have not seen or uh, used an Instapot Max um, this you can use still as your regular um, you know pressure cooker sautés rice canning everything yogurt like you can a regular Instapot so if you are wanting to can but you're wanting an instapot and you can only do one i would suggest to buy this because this is going to be able to give you everything that you're going to want to do so i'm going to go ahead and place i got the water in there go ahead and place all four pints in here and this is already set up for my area here in michigan and Put the lid on now all i'm going to do is hit canning now this has to actually can in the pints for 75 minutes so i have to take and 
move this way up to 75 minutes, which is going to be an hour and 15 minutes. And I am going to have my venting. I do not want to have this on um, keep warm. And then all I got to do is hit start. Now, what's going to do? It's just like the regular, um, just like the regular canning. You're going to go ahead, and the the pin's going to come up like you would on your regular stove top canners. And this will actually go, psh, 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 you know, every so often, just like you know a regular stove top one does. But it makes it nice because some days I just, you know, when it's just a small batch like this, if I was doing a whole big batch. I wouldn't want to, um, you know, I'd break out my regular canner. But just for four, it doesn't make any sense to do that, and it's so easy to do. Now, I don't know for sure if you've ever canned your own beans, but <clears throat> I am letting you know if you have not, for one thing, they're incredibly cheap. And um, you could buy a pound of beans, and you can usually get about four or five pints, depending on what bean it is, out of that. So, I mean, if you look at the price of beans and you're talking, you know, a um, dollar a can, even if you go to like Aldi's or somewhere like that. And I, when, once you do your own beans and you have the store-bought beans, it's not like I did anything special to these. I didn't add no salt, no spices, nothing. But these beans somehow to me at least, I think they do to my sister too, um, it's, it's just so much better. I mean, it's, I can't, I can't explain it unless you do it yourself. There's no explanation, honestly, for it. But um, it does make it really nice when you are trying to save some money and you do have access to a canner. These do need to be pressure canned. I mean, you can supposedly probably water bath them. You'd have to do it for like three hours. I'm not much on water bathing unless it's things like tomatoes. So, that's not going to be something that I would want to want to physically do in my personal life. But, you know, people who don't have canners, they have to do what they have to do to do what it is that needs to be done. But um, what I'll do is I'll bring you back after all this is actually um, done and um, cooled down and the pin goes down. And I'll bring you back and show you what that's looking like. And then that way I can have four more pints of pinno beans for my pantry and um, life is good. So I'll be back. Okay, friends, I just took off the lid and I put it away from me for the steam. Um, I don't know what's been going on with my camera, but it's been knocking my videos off. So here are my four pints of pinno beans. Now, this is actually part of a collab I forgot to mention earlier. It's May at last 23 with Natasha over at the Budget Prepper. Now, um, you see that looks really nice. Now all I have to do is just dump that water when that cools off. Um, Natasha is one who makes my thumbnails for me. So you're going to want to check down in the description. She actually has, I believe, a contest going on. There's a way to get into the contest if you want to be part of the contest. And definitely check out all of the people in the playlist. It starts in May, obviously, here. And it goes through the end of May. I will have a second video. And um, that way you can check out what else I'm doing. I'm hopefully going to be doing some um, kraut, hopefully. I'm not for sure. That's what I've been wanting to do um, and get that jarred up and show you how I do it here. So um, definitely check out the playlist. May it last, 23. And... Um, see what you like about uh, Natasha's page. Please like, share, and subscribe on her page. Uh, she's been a very wonderful person helping me along with some of the things I don't know because she's a little bit more <laughs> computer literate than even I am. So, But this makes it really nice. Um, I'll be using probably one of these um, maybe tomorrow for my dinner. Um, but it's going to be nice to still have the other three physically on the shelf. And when I do get that new pressure canner, I'll maybe do like another video and show you because I definitely need to stock up on my pinno beans. So thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a very blessed and wonderful day.